Hello everyone, welcome to another Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and yes, this is a sewing machine. I am going to be doing some free motion stitching. Uh, I am taking Alma Stoller's Stitched Workshop. It's an online workshop and I'm enjoying it immensely. And um, <clears throat> that's what's on my desk right now. So I'm gonna play around with it. One of the projects in uh, Stitched is uh, a magpie quilt we do a lot of uh, free motion stitching so i wanted to practice and i know i always get questions about it and i thought well i'm going to do a little bit of free motion and then use my paints to decorate like i have done with you before but this time you actually get to see me stitching so um that's what we're going to do today we're going to stitch i have my brother's sewing machine here this is the 85e for those of you who are techie who want to know what i'm using and I do have a free motion foot on here. This is SA129 for all you brother people. And um, we're going to be painting with the Sew Soft paints and the Ink Tense pencils. So uh, we're good to go. Uh, it is pretty. It is, it is really pretty. So this is going to be going, I have some practice quilt blocks here. So for those of you who are watching live, I'm going to do some other types of stitching on these. But can you see the quilt blocks that I've got going? These are just for practice, little sandwiches. They have some, this is just muslin because it's a practice, but there is cotton batting between them. So it's all nice and sandwiched together, ready to go to practice different free motion stitching. So we'll do that uh, live on air after we read the recording. So the recording today will be how I stitch this flower and then we'll paint it up. Ooh, batik, yes. Okay, so I do, as I mentioned, have a sandwich here. This is cotton, and there is a, a cotton batting in the center. Dun da da. And I'm just going to put it into my machine. Now, it is, a, I do have a free motion stitch machine, sorry, foot on the machine, and the feed dogs have been disengaged because when you free motion quilt, of course, you don't, you move it around. You're the one who's guiding the fabric, not the machine. Jen learned that apparently today. <laughs> so, um, so, anyway, so we're gonna do that. I do have the light on this machine turned off because there was a bit of a glare and um, we didn't wanna, we wanted you to be able to see as much as you could. So I am going to start in the middle of this little square here, this sandwich, which is not ham and cheese, Eileen. That's correct. And I have protective gloves. <laughs> so I said, somebody says it's very scary. Sewing machine is scary and I have protective gloves. No, these aren't protective, <laughs> but they are quilters gloves. They have little rubber um, things on them for a good grip on the quilting on the on the fabric when you're free motion stitching in particular you need to move that around it's it's nice to have a good grip on the material and that's why i've invested in these they're like five dollars or six i can't even remember what i sell them for here at the store but um they're inexpensive and they really 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 do help <laughs> okay so that's why i have the scary gloves for the scary machine <laughs> okay so i'm just going to put the foot down and approximately the middle and we're going to get good to go now with free motion stitching you do want to get it going just by pushing the needle and doing a knot by um, starting it a few times a few stitches makes it secure in there and the free motion it's all about the balance the balance in how fast you're moving the material the faster you move it uh, um, and the slower the speed, the longer the stitch length. There is no way of actually setting a stitch length for this. This is why we practice. Um, you get to know the feel of, of how you move the material and you can either speed up the, your movement yourself or the actual machine to get it going. So um, I have my machine on a push button here. I have disengaged the, the foot control. Um, because I love the push button aspect of these machines and I have the setting at about halfway and um, that seems to work well for me okay so I'm gonna push this going I've got it all set situated I've got it started and I'm gonna just gonna do a loop in the center just like you guys have seen me draw a loop in the center and then kind of a, a scallop all the way around around that so here we go 
looping in the center, and now I'm scalloping. One, two, three, four, five, and I'm not going to get any more in here. I'm just going to do the five, and Kathy's going to laugh at me right now, and then go from one to the next. There we go. I'm going to stop right here. And the reason I'm stopping is I want to just snip this little piece of, I'm going to put the needle down so I don't get that in, out of the way, little piece of thread, pull it out so it does not get caught in my stitching. Here we go. You can be that fast. And I'm just going to go around. Now I am going to use some of that So Soft paint that I have been enjoying. So I have some uh, True Blue and some Ocean Blue here. Let's see if it will, uh, well you guys trust me what kind it is. And I also have some purple um, I'm, because the quilt blocks that I've been using that I'm matching this up with have a bit of, of purple in them. Again, here's some of my blocks. So you can see there's purple hues to them. So I'm going to paint my flowers with those colors. There we go. I don't need a whole lot of paint. I am going to let this run a little bit. Sometimes I care that the paint doesn't bleed out into the rest of the fabric, but I'm kind of liking that. I, I let it bleed out in this one too. Can you see that? I'm kind of liking the softness that it gives much more watercolor effect with it. Um, I like that. So I'm going to continue with that look and I'm going to do that by adding some water. I just have a mister here and uh, just spritz my fabric. So it's nice and wet but not like saturated but nice and wet. <laughs> I do have some brushes and a little water pot here beside me. And I'm going to take the, both the blues, you can see that on my mat far in the, in the distance there, and um, just go ahead and wash the fabric with this paint. Now, this brush is maybe even big for this particular size, but that's okay. I don't care if I get right to the edge. Some of this will bleed out. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the camera. Okay. So I do have an Inktense pencil here. This is sea blue. I'm just going to dunk it in some water. And just in my little V sections in the petals, 
do a little bit of a color, a little bit of a low light. Can you see that? Yay! And again, using my favorite tool, my finger. <laughs> well, by smudging it with my finger, it is um, also shading these petals. You see that? So for those of you who are watching the recording, this is where I'm going to leave you. And I'd like to thank you so much for joining me. So a little bit of free motion, a little bit of uh, coloring with the So Soft and the Inktense pencils to create some dimension uh, for another project. I think this will go beautifully with the other quilt blocks that I have happen in here, all of which I will post on our website, thearthousestudio.blogspot.com. And uh, so that you can see how they match up and, and uh, will work together. I, I might possibly uh, free motion stitch around the outside of these after this is dry a little bit. Uh, but uh, until then, I can't really do that while it's really wet. <laughs> so until then, we'll see you next Thursday um, for another Thursday night at the Art House Studio. And for those of you who are watching live, we are going to do some more free motion stitching. So I have lots of... Um, quilt sandwiches here to practice on and we can play and uh, discover new stitches together okay so thank you again for the recording people and we'll see you again next thursday bye guys <laughs>